What's up people we are back with more of Minecraft story mode Episode 2 has just been released which is really really Unexpected for me personally considering it's a telltale games between every single episode Telltale games usually takes at the minimum two months for every single episode to release So I was expecting this one to come out much later, but they sort of decided to have this release both with like like the retail box edition that's out in the stores I believe right now in America and October 30th in Europe so yeah really really expected for me I didn't really account for it which is why I'm actually playing it right now Wednesday on like a Wednesday morning and I have to go to college in about an hour so I want to explain first that I'm going to be playing maybe one or two videos try and upload that as soon as possible I'll just even uh, render it uh, on my laptop at college and then finish the rest when I'm back home again after college because well I have a couple of things to do at college so I can't really skip it or anything either so not that I really intended it to but I didn't have that option so yeah I'm just going to give you guys a heads up already that there's going to be like a couple of hours gap between perhaps the first uh, video second video and then the rest of it so yeah don't you worry I'm definitely gonna finish and play this and yeah it was just really unexpected for my part, so I didn't really account for it, sadly. One thing that I was thinking about actually after I finished episode 1 and was editing part of it, I was thinking like, hmm, this is a Minecraft game and I do tend to swear a lot. So I'm gonna try and keep the swearing to a minimum because, you know, it's Minecraft. Kids could be watching, you know? I could get angry emails from, from parents saying like, I thought your videos were going to be educational. The only thing my thought, uh, my child learned was the word fuck. Oh shit, now I, oh my god. Okay, let's not go into an endless circle cycle of swear words because then I could be going on for days. But you know what I mean, right? I'm just gonna keep it, try and keep it to a minimum because in normal games I tend to swear a lot. But, you know, this is Minecraft. We can use PG rating language. Of course we can. Alright, so yeah, let's get started. Episode 2. Assembly required. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, or we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> oh no! One of those things whose name I've forgotten again. Ow! 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 <laughs> Hide! To the right! Great! More gas! The mine cards! Do something about the ghast! Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? 
Press swap weapon. Yes, let's go with the bow. You know it. So long as you really know what you're doing with of it. Of course. Didn't you know they call me Legolas? Damn! Right in the face. Skewered. Ah! Oh, right in the brain. Okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. Jump. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. Redstonia. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat> of course. We'll give her no choice. So one of the things that I read already is that episode 2 or 2 changes drastically depending on the cha uh, choices you've made in the previous episode which was either going to search for Magnus or Eligard and we opted for Eligard so yeah I can already imagine that there's going to be like from people that pick Magnus instead of Eligard there's gonna be like a, a lot of differences between the gameplay so that's gonna be very interesting oh yeah walk that bridge How is that even possible? The water. Builders of Redstonia, I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. No! But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. <laughs> So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. We have to stop her. Otherwise she's gonna go in like, you know, hibernation. Jesse. We need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ouch. Ah, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I did I didn't come here to look for Calvin. I mean, I'm no Elega. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you, I doubt you it. take us to her. It's really, really important. No, I'm afraid not. Okay, he's a bit of a look, creeper. I can tell you're not from Not the monster creeper, but level. you know, creepy guy. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. Uh, and Eligard isn't one for appointments. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. What? How would that help? Don't we need the amulet ourselves? We might also want to hang on to it. 
I want to hang on no to way. it. Hell no. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. We'll find them. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Yeah, thanks for telling me exactly what I need to do. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Ah, dang, Kelvin. Not a big fan of that guy, I can already tell. A cowapult? This is a fountain. What I was saying earlier that maybe it's because just because of, you know, the block figures of everything in Minecraft, but the water seems like it's kind of flowing unnaturally outwards and then straight down and then outwards again. Unless it's like in an invisible glass dome, which we can't really see. But yeah, then again, I'm, I mentioned in a previous episode that I haven't played Star I Minecraft have no idea how much, it works, so... That is pretty amazing. I'm a noob in that regard, of course. Elvis, lava disco creator. Talk to him. You never know what he. he I see a repeater Hi. there. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Um, Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> yeah, are dancing cows really necessary? I mean, come on. You, you look at your own moves. They're pretty impress impressive on their own. You don't need cows to help you out with moves. Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. Huh? What does he mean? That that guy has to stay there, or...? What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Uh. The perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. What? I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Thanks for telling me exactly where I need to go. Why does everyone keep doing that? Can I just take it? I doubt I can flat out take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think? Hey, 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 there, pal. That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco. Alright, so we definitely need the um, schoolboy's help on this one. Ooh, lava curtain. That is flashy. Alright, schoolboy, talk to me. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. Whoa. The mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Yeah, it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Eligard's protege. Cut me. Why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over what? there. What? I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Been real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. I'm Which gonna start trouble be, between them two. Obviously. Is this idea yours? Like, a hundred percent? Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That's Triggered. A, no good, dirty... Ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Yes! 
Steal all my ideas, <laughs> huh? That's what you're telling <laughs> people. Peter. Guess I just call him like I see him. Oh, you are... Oh, no, my machine. Oh, my cows. <laughs> uh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh, no, your amazing invention. You, you did this. Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows. My poor cows. At least we'll have tasty dinner tonight. Right? Alright, so we got a repeater. This is exactly what we need. I kind of want to look at the cow pole, though. There's a lot of weird conventions here. Can't help but notice you checking out my cow pole, friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> but I love my piggy. Oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never <gasps> known a cow not to like it, especially the ones that survive. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> I don't know. Ruben was shaking in his boots, and I kind of want to, you know, keep Ruben at my good side. Maybe that guy has something I can use. I must say, it does look pretty fun, though, but... Yeah, screw all the other inventions. We're just going to put the... Where do we have to... We have to put it... Wait. We have to put it here somewhere. Power source, there we go, right okay, here. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. And then it was the middle lever, I'm pretty sure. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Which other one did he press? Is this Bang, stairs? door opened. Okay, that's the door opened. And then this one for the stairs. Switch is on. Exactly. Okay, good, good. Excellente. Hello, guard. I'm a coming. Wow, here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Of course. What do you think? I make the wrong decision and who to go uh, to? Of course not. I could never make such a big mistake. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. What are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. They're oh, so them. I'm the intruder here, huh? Is that what you're saying, girl? Alright, so. I guess we'll just use the repeater, turn it off, or okay, slow it down. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Try it again. Come on! Yes! Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the redstone just speak to each other. We have a uh, bond. Huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients, it must be something really, really big. This is exactly how I feel. I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying it. Come on, let's keep moving. Another lava curtain? Don't tell me there are like 10,000 uh, dancing cows behind it. Wait, I want to pull the lever. Uh, let's pull it. Oh, that's awesome. Lava curtains are awesome. It's the best way of keeping intruders out. As long as you hide the lever well, of course.
Huh. Zipper. Let's talk to Olivia. This close to meeting Eligard. Getting excited? Getting like goosebumps? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. She's gonna be like really mean. Like, what are you doing here? Hmm. A button. Another lever over here. Let's pull it. We only pull things. We don't look at things. Yes. Let's use the zipper. What? We're swimming upwards? This is awesome. I'm guessing there's like no gravity in there. There she is. Allegard. Wow. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Elagard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Okay, don't let it get Let's to your just head, try Olivia. To save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request operational. Delivery latency. She sounds very busy, Still but talking to myself. Yep. Let's disturb her yeah. anyway. Okay. All right. Whoa. Hi. Hey. Didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? <laughs> assistants with a stupid and adorable pig, that is. <laughs> First off, yes. let's flatter her a bit. She thinks we're her new assistants. This is so exciting. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy, grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Calm down, Olivia. What? <laughs> well, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Of course. Olivia. Olivia? Just slap her face. Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh. So embarrassing. Everything working over. <laughs> hmm. Fine, I I'll just do it myself then. Oh no, she thinks we're useless. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big. Loser. Ugh. Trial number 6451. Wow. Another bust. So many. Now, about you three. <laughs> Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... No. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. We should have probably let her know. My brain! Brilliant thoughts. Gone! <laughs> I could see that. I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew. Kinda glad, actually. What with Madame Faints a lot over there. <laughs> So, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Calvin? It's not Calvin. <laughs> Gabriel Screw that said. guy. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting. But I simply don't have the brain power for this. You do. I can I'm tell you have a huge brain. Project to date, a powerful block capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close. I can practically taste it, and it tastes like victory, with a side of sweet, sweet redstone engineering. You're trying to make a command block. Let me help you. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? I know everything. Not to seem belittling. But we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. So yeah. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh. Sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We uh, sort of disassembled. Yeah. So were the Spice That's Girls, but they came back for here. one big thing. Gabriel's amulet. This. 
certainly changes things. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. Long time. Yes, he gave it to me so that I could find the order. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. Don't you understand? Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. Who is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? <laughs> going to work this time? I can feel it. Um, I guess so. I in my brain. Like, it does I make sense, right? Too. The thing that created the problem could also be the solution to solving that problem. It makes sense, so sure, You're why not? genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Olivia, kind of ruining the moment. Oh yeah. Let's flip the levers. Bam. Touch it all. God, Olivia. I hope that she's not normally this bad. That she's only doing uh, being so clumsy or whatnot because she's starstruck by her, by uh, Eligard. Uh oh. Number six thousand four hundred seventy-three. Failure again. All right, let's keep trying it. Yeah, see Ruben is contributing as well. This is teamwork. I can feel it. Okay, this is not it. Come on, third time's the charm. Yes. This is it. What? Why can't I have the honors? Okay, okay, excellent. Good. This is so exciting. Terribly exciting. Has it gotten this far before? No, never. Is it destabilizing? Oh, no. What? It's actually here. Eligard, come on. Come. Listen to me before, woman. Oh, jump! Yeah, Ruben. Rubenator. Wow, that thing is destroying everything. Left. No! No way! Come on! Come on! Fight its tentacle or something! Oh, here! Hit it! Over here! This way! Jump! We're good at jumping! Jesse! Come on! Yes! Come on, use that muscle, use him! 
That wither storm. Uh oh, not good. Yes, Elagard is with us. Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Creeper! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Whoa. Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! So, Wait, Lucas and on. the other guy you didn't kill each other. Who showed up while you were gone. That's good. <gasps> yes, she's Petra. here! Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm Ruben so is happy. glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Aww. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well... I owe you everything, Jesse. Aww. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Well, what, what about Gabriel? I'm so glad to see you. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. is just gone. But not Gabriel, right? It even got Gabriel. Oh no. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Who the hell is that? It's a hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone an adventure to get him did you know about Was this? that magnus why didn't you tell me you did this on purpose no 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 i really didn't know Everyone trust just me coming and going around here hey axel's my friend okay i didn't know he was going to get magnus you gotta believe me well i hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin look just wait here a second while i figure out what's going on much appreciated. Oh god, we gotta come to a diplomatic solution. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust so. me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Huh? This should be the goal, We're I think. Uniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus. Yeah, myself. screw you, uh, it was kind Axel. of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. Now, I'm the king of Boomtown. We've been what? bonding and stuff. I've had like the best day. Boomtown? I think it's more did that he's the say... king. Yeah, I did. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnics. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus, that's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super cool. I'll never understand your fans. Axel, not your fight. Stay out of it. But your friend has a point. I can fight my own battles. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very 
hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner? It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops. Oh, that Would dude is annoying. Stop fighting! Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Aren't they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. Only Soren were here. He might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. Wait, Magnus, I want to hear what she's saying. Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger Ooh. and more explosive than anything else Super in the world. Super TNT. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb. <laughs> F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. <laughs> F-bomb. I love it. Real. I swear. Uh-huh. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Nope. We didn't find him on the map, did we? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. I'm pretty sure there are only on two lights. A red and a green one, which was for Magnus and for Eligard. What's Eligard only with Hello, one Eligard. A? You said Double you know how a. to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to Petra. Obviously, we gotta keep morale high. Talk to everyone. Fine. You okay? We can talk about it later. Let's just do this map for now. She looks really sad and depressed. Yeah, Axel, I'm gonna save you for last. Not because saving the best for last is the general idea here, because but because of uh I don't know, I just think like Axel, like come on. Are man. you holding up? Not really liking him right now. I'm alright. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. Thank you so much for all the help. I, I know we haven't always gotten along the best in the past, but you've been so great. Wow. That means a lot, Jesse. Thank you. You're welcome, bro. Is he my bro? I'm not even sure. All right, well, Magnus, might as well talk hey, to that Magnus. dude, too. Hey, small fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. Yeah. No, what I'm... I mean, dude, how do you think we found your ass in the first place? Like, come on. So, when you said that you... Hey, Olivia, you okay? I'm alright. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia. In I don't worry Elegon. about it. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. Everything is gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright. Alright, let's put that in there. Nothing. Well, here we go with the levers again. I actually, last time I didn't get how to, how I actually did it, so... This time will be no different, of course, so it's just gonna be me pulling random le levers again. So, this will be great. That seemed to work. All right, there's your light, my light. <gasps> That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. 
After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little... Weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. That's probably the only time you made the right call. So, why aren't we going? Is there some kind of problem? <gasps> Blue? Who's Blue? Whoa. Gabriel? Or what? It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is Blue? Who is that? Oh, no. That's Ivor! Ugh. Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! No! Not too far, we could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning, avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave now. I think it's following us, Magnus. Yeah. And I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go now. It's so bad that you're gonna just go waltzing out in the woods at night. It's Have you seen yet. it, dude? We'll just go as fast as we can. I think Magnus might be right. And he's not usually a big I mean, if that guy wasn't bald, he would lose his hair immediately at the side of the winter storm. Go now. An excellent call, Jesse. And far more decisive than either of us are being. What a coincidence that it's your plan. But fine. Doesn't matter if it's her plan, it's my plan now. So yeah, apparently Ivor, we knew that he was a former member of the stone. Okay, the everyone, order, let's get moving. But I didn't know we could actually find Yo, him with that we haven't really got on the, the map as well. Chat yet. Oh, hello. I heard you saved your friend back there from this wither storm thing. You're pretty tough, huh? A regular iron golem, huh? Leaving the creepers quaking in their boots. I'm just doing my best to keep everyone safe. Humility. Nice. I can dig it. Kinda wish you had my back before. But whatever. Still seem alright. Ish. What's the deal with your buddy Axel? Weirdo. Can't tell if he's awesome or a little bit of a dork. He's just a little uh, doofy, you know. He's like he has puppy. been annoying me lately, personally. Hug it, That's just my opinion, just though. Know what I'm talking about? I'll be honest. He's been kind of annoying me lately, fighting or negativity. Yeah, that's why you didn't listen to his plan to come get me. Was I just not? your cup of tea or didn't think you could handle it i do have that effect on people sometimes i figured that we needed brains to fight the witherstorm and brains means eligard no yeah, offense i've definitely heard that a lot <laughs> i'll try not to let it hurt my feelings too much well just keep on your toes wait is that a threat Oh no, skeleton zombies. Not good. See? This is why I said we should have waited till morning. We wouldn't need to worry about any of this crap. At least we're keeping ahead of the wither storm. <gasps> Spiders, oh hell no. How come they all pop out at the same time? This is just like the second it turns night in Minecraft and it just like BAM they all come out. Let's fight. I'm fine. Fuck it. Shoot this. We don't have any more arrows? Oh no. Alright, let's bring out the trusty sword. Bam, stay back. Oh yeah. Down you go, zombie. Other one, one more time. He already has an arrow in the heart. It's gonna be light soon. We're gonna be okay. Man, I miss daytime. How far is Soren? It has to be close, right? Not much farther. We can make it.
Is the map really that small that they can walk within one night all the way to the other side of the map? Or well, not necessarily, they were in the middle, but they went to the top of the map. Is the world that small? Soren really lived down here? It's so far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> Is she okay? Oh, she is not good. I forgot her name, but she, she is bad. She is sick or, or yeah, dying or... Yeah, I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! Aw, <laughs> oh, Ruben is scared. Just don't fall, okay? <laughs> Oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. Oh. No. Come on. No. no way. This is not good. What the hell is that? Slenderman? Oh, man. We've got Enderman. Okay, never mind. Enderman, of course. Lucas too. I heard your voice and thought I would come down to help. Thanks. Enderman. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Uh, thanks for coming back, I guess, if you really meant that. Thanks for coming back, Lucas. I mean that. Hear that? I think Ruben is trying to get our attention. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Oh. Okay, those things are terrifying. Oh my god. What? Swim. Come on, Ruben. Swim, little piggy. Away. That's it. I'm going. I can see why the order see, broke up. I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody knows where I'm going. See ya, I'm going after Eligard. Hmm. Okay, we just literally look at it and we're like, hmm, yes, interesting. It's a whole way. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. But, Petra. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Oh, this well, sounds serious. What's up, Petra? I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. No, you can always talk to me, girl. It's fine. I'm an open and book. Axel can get a little explodey sometimes. Oh, tell me about it. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding.
You got me away from the wither storm. But I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? No. It showed up not too long after you saved me. <gasps> Holy crap, what are we doing down here? We need to get you help. I don't know if there's anything we can do, Jesse. This is like turning into a zombie. Is? The wither, of course, we've been... No, Jesse, just wither, or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Huh? <laughs> ah, creeper! No! Why do we always fall Grab down? My hands. Pull you up. Come on. Let's go. Come on, use your with the strength. Not the amulet. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Are you okay? I'm Don't fine. worry, I'm fine. She should get help though, I should have said that. Okay. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. <laughs> Aww, Ruben. Ruben's like, no. <laughs> Master is downstairs. I need to grab the amulet again. Well, I'm almost certain something's gonna happen if I do. Saw something. Oh no. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? There always is. Just walk into the darkness. Luckily we know that this isn't the horror game, so I don't think I should be that scared. But still, the fear of the unknown is always a, a little bit scary. This is like a huge library. Look at all the books. Oh wait, this one's open. It's like a door. Well, it is almost definitely a door. Huh? You think you can pretend to be a bookcase, huh, door? It's Ivor. Something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Hey, it's... show yourself. Who's there? Freaking Ivor. Oh. You. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. You found your way in here, so now you may find it back out again. Immediately. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you, clearly. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. I would have never asked for his help anyway. No. Just get out of get out of my face, Fine. Beardo. Oh, you're not going anywhere. <gasps> Petra. <laughs> Petra? You escaped? What did he do to you? <laughs> oh, on guard. <laughs> Foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. Okay, you know what? Go ahead, Petra. I'm not letting him leave either. Oh, 2v1 battle. Let's go. Oh, 
stop! I'm the only one who can stop the wither storm! Not you, not the order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. <laughs> to be honest, regardless of whose story it is, someone has to be the villain. <laughs> in my story, I'm the good guy, and that's what counts. Yeah, kicked in the You're tummy. Any this could have all been avoided. If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, oh, here we go again. You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> uh, I'm like the wind. <laughs> oh, Matrix style. <laughs> No! I'll go through you if I have to! Come on! Yes! Don't tempt your fate. Come on, let's queue it up! <laughs> no matter how fast you are, dude, still no match for me. You didn't have to go this way, Jesse. You could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me! Now you. <laughs> oh, this guy. How many tricks does he have up his sleeve? Yeah, he's done this before. It's one of his invisibility potions. He could be anywhere. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. Oh, God. No. no. Doesn't it? I thought I dodged it. End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. I'm bad. I was like, yeah, I have enough time. This one's on you, you puffed up fool. Oh, hit it. Yes. Saved by the goalkeeper. <laughs> Bam. Bullseye. <coughs> There's no in your face. <sighs> Jesse, Petra, even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. Stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. Query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? No. Magnus and Eligard may think they can stop me. That they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken. And it will cost them their lives. No. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. Already. The suit of answers. All our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. Alright, well, um... Apparently that choice makes a lot of... Wow. So I guess it... it this episode felt really short, didn't it? I, I was actually timing somewhat, at least for this video. Because I recorded the other one in the morning and this one I'm right now back and... I don't think this one was that long. I mean, it's it's great for Telltale because you know, as I mentioned in the beginning, Telltale Games is normal, uh, like I guess downtime between every single episode is 
usually two months at the least and this one was a couple of weeks even which was like really surprising and obviously a very very good thing like a long time ago i actually wanted to make a video about sort of where i just kind of no it was it was i, I had the plans of making an idea but it mainly would just turn into complaints about yeah how i dislike waiting two months every single time but yeah that wouldn't have changed anything of course but i just felt like because i remember the very first time when i played my very first telltale game it was the walking dead and that complete entire season the entire just episode one through five was out at that point already i think episode five just got released and i played through the entire game all five episodes in a matter of a week or a week and a half and everything is just so fresh in your mind and it just feels like one whole complete experience that it's so freaking awesome maybe that's why i enjoyed that one like the most as well but every single telltale game i've played after that uh the ones that are like you know that are newly released and only uh when i was actually playing it every single time a new episode got released and then waiting two months if not more for the next episode it's just such a long downtime you forget uh, some stuff at least and it just it feels like it's really five different parts rather than a full whole complete story when you play it with such a long break in between so i was really really glad to hear that this episode was out already when it did because it's so fast so that i thought that is a very good thing but then this episode is kind of short as well and if you actually look at the choices that i make that you make throughout an episode the first one seems really weird because normally every single choice that you make always will have an impact on how your story will change right or at least that's the point of these sort of these telltale games but i don't really see how the the way that you defeated the gas at the very beginning how that would have a very big impact on how my particular story changes the only thing that actually changed is the fact that i ran out of arrows quicker because i used the bow actually quite frequently and at a certain point when we were trying to fight the zombies i think yeah we ran out, out of arrows but is that really such a big deal maybe but maybe along the line we'll be able to craft more i don't know but this is not like one of those choices where if you compare it to, the, to um, Tales from the Borderlands, like, oh, um, you didn't tell your friends about having Handsome Jack inside your head. Like, that's that's something that's really, really big. And he's like, yeah, you shot, you shot that thing with a bow. Okay. But nevertheless, I mean, this it, it's a very enjoyable story and it's actually getting really, really interesting as well. But I just sort of feel like if this episode perhaps was a bit bit rushed which is why it came out earlier and why it's a bit shorter as well i mean i actually didn't look at the uh, the full time length of this video which i really can't until i ended so i can't really judge maybe it just went much faster than, than i felt and it's actually just been like near two hours but something inside me just tells me that it hasn't but yeah enough rambling on this this episode was enjoyable so even if it was shorter i'm all right with that doesn't bother me too much but i just felt like it needed to be pointed out but yeah all right the first choice was un 52.5 percent of players shot the gas with a bow not really see how much of an impact that will make but you know they could always surprise me and it could have a big impact in the third episode but or the following episodes but we won't know until then un 73.3 percent of players stole a repeater yeah it was just I just went with the first option that I saw available, so easy choice, right? The, I think because it was a rather big area, I remember that the area was rather big, so that must mean that there were multiple ways of getting the repeater, but still, I just saw the first guy with like the dancing uh, cows, was it? And then he mentioned that he had a feud with the schoolboy, so he made it really easy for me just by saying, yeah, schoolboy. That guy was talking trash behind you or shit behind you, about you, behind your back. So go get him while I'll steal the repeater, okay? And yeah, that's how I got my repeater. You and 94.9% .9 of players stayed to help Ellie build the command block. Like, why wouldn't you? It just makes no sense, right? For it, for not, to not do that. Because you went all the way, you went with the option of going to Eligard in the first place. You go there to seek her help out, right? So, 
if you're in a position like you found her and then like yeah why wouldn't you try to help her which then indirectly helps us as well so what do you then suddenly did the other 5.1 percent of players suddenly realize god damn it i should have gone with magnus instead i don't want to be here screw you ellie something like that i don't know but all right i just helped build the command block you and 86.8 percent of players departed the temple at night yeah i don't i don't know what's maybe am i being too harsh on axel i'm not sure i just i'm not sure how everyone else feels about him like i i kind of feel him annoying like he's just creating unnecessary tension between the entire group which i feel like yeah it's it's just why there's no point in it so yeah which is why i tend to sort of not necessarily go against his ideas or everything that he does out of spite but i just felt like there would definitely was a a sense of urgency so leaving the temple at night just seemed quicker considering how big the winter storm is and how quickly it moves as well i just think like yeah we gotta move asap so yeah those were our choices for episode two let's con or click on the continue button rather and that will bring us to the credits which we're gonna skip And then I think we're gonna end the episode here. All right. Um, yeah, I have actually uh, absolutely no idea, of course, uh, how how long this this video is or how long these videos are gonna be. But it personally felt a little bit on the short side of me. But episode two was still um, enjoyable to play, and it was fun. Like the the the, the entire Witherstorm thing and the the order of the stone, like the tension between those people and who the hell. Ivor exactly is and if he's actually right about saying that the order can't really save or destroy the wither stone only he can wither stone i mean the wither what's it called the wither monster i don't know wither storm but yeah all in all i'm just interested in how things are gonna go forward from here in the next episode so yeah i want to thank you all so very much for watching please like and subscribe for more and whenever episode three does come out I'm obviously going to play that. Not sure whether it's going to be like a very short time between uh, as it did between episode 1 and 2 this time. Or it's going to be the normal Telltale Games' waiting time, downtime of 2 months plus. So yeah, if it's going to be another unpredictable release, I will definitely um, play it of course. But it's always just yeah unpredictable as I said as to when exactly the next episode is going to be coming out. So when more details do come up... You can definitely make sure that I will I will see that and I will play then as well. So yeah, once again, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys later. Peace!